Well, thank you for that, Shane. And uh, yes, it is a, a my pleasure to be here this evening uh, for this wonderful weekend of country music. And um, I was thrilled to be asked to come because uh, I, it's about time. I haven't been in Hamilton since the 1990-something. And uh, But now I'm living in Wellington. I hope to this year get around the North Island a little bit more and um, catch up with old friends and play some good old country music. I'm going to start off this first song for you this evening. I've always been a fan of the wonderful Mr. Bob Wills, and uh, this is one of his classics, and it's called The San Antonio Rose. <laughs> much. If I'd known the audiences in Hamilton and like this, I'd have been back a lot sooner. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Um, about two years ago, I was heading over, like Shane said, to the States. I've been doing a lot of festivals over there, and I was asked to go and play in Branson, and I uh, do about 40 or 50 shows, and so I thought, oh golly gosh, I better get a new CD to take with me. So on this particular CD, I was uh, looking for some very old country songs. And this next one I'm going to play for you, I recorded. It's one I've always loved. So if you know it, please sing along with me because I know, I know you will. Take, it'll take you back to your school days. It's called Home on the Range. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. There's actually a little story that goes with the song. I was just thinking as I was playing it, it came back to me. The first time I played it over there and uh, I got to the first chorus and I glanced up and everybody was standing on their feet and I thought, hmm, that's rather nice. Back home, if you're lucky to get that, they normally stand up at the end of the song. And I thought, I must have looked a little bit puzzled. Anyway, my guitar player, Lee, he, he came wandering over and he whispered in my ear, Jenny, you're playing the Kansas City State song. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> but after that, while I was over there, I actually worked out that there's quite a few states in America that have country songs. And uh, I know Rocky Top is one in Nashville. And uh, I did a bit of a research on that one because, yeah, so now I'm wised up to everything. <laughs> Okay, before I play my last song for the evening, um, I'd just like to thank a couple of people. I want to thank the committee very much for inviting me, and I've had a, a wonderful weekend. And also I'd like to thank this wonderful band here. Thank you for the wonderful band here. It's so amazing. I've worked with Rennie quite a few times in the South Island, but I uh, know they're amazing. And I'd just like to wish, um, I've seen, all those the young, beautiful young singers that have been on the show this weekend, I mean, it takes me back a long way, you know, and I just think they are all so amazing, and I, I love them all, and I wish them all the very best, not only for tonight, but for their futures in country music, because without them, this country music doesn't go forward. And I just think, I know Gray, and there's a lot of people out there have had myself, We've had 40 years in the business, and it's been a, a, a real journey, and I wish the best for all of those ones. What do you reckon? I was blown away. So, good luck to them all. I'm gonna finish now with a little bit of a fun song that you can clap along with, and uh, one you all know, and it's called The William Tell Overture. Wonderful. Jenny Blackadder. Just to let you know that Jenny was inducted into the Old Time American Country Music Hall of Fame, and I can see why. She's fabulous. Yes, Jenny Blackadder. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a gentleman that uh, 